Hello everybody, I'm Nerdy Guy, and I'm still recording bad quality because there's no way to change the settings. I tried to contact Microsoft Support about this, but it would actually cost me money to do it. So they think I should pay them to fix a faulty product. Yeah, fuck you. Anyways, the subject of today's video is once again Game of Thrones, because once again, people are calling sexism and misogyny. Now, most if not all of this is coming from Tumblr, and specifically one Tumblr user called Tumblr of Thrones. <clears throat> Now, I don't intend for you to go and send hate to this Tumblr user. That's not the point of this video, but I do think that user is pretty ridiculous since he or she cries sexism all the fucking time. <clears throat> As usual, my throat is messed up. I have no idea why. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I think it's fucking ridiculous. So, keep in mind, this video will have a spoilers for Game of Thrones Season 4, so if you haven't seen Game of Thrones Season 4, don't watch this video. So from now on, I'm going to assume that you have watched Game of Thrones Season 4. Now, and I mean all of Season 4, not just a few episodes, all of it. So once again, people are, like I said, people are crying sexism. Now, Tumblr of Thrones is the person who made the whole... Like, cried sexism about Sansa Stark, when people didn't like her. But here's the deal, there's a reason people don't like Sansa Stark. I made a video about that, I suggest you go look at it. But to summarize it, first season she's annoying and she can't take responsibility for anything she does. Second season she's useless and boring. Third season she's still useless and boring, but a little bit less. And now she's too, too stupid to realize she's just being used as a pawn by everybody. Fuck my door, hold on. I should probably edit that out, but I'm not going to. Now, she spent the whole third season just being a pawn to people and being too stupid to realize it, and now we reach the fourth season, when she's finally useful, when she's finally a good character. Thank you, I've been waiting for this. This is what I talked about in my Sansa Stark video. She will be I said she will become a good character, but she hasn't. Ha it hasn't happened yet, and now it has happened. Anyways, like I said, the reason they're calling sexism now is because of Shay. Because in the last episode, once again, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the last episode, Shay is... Uh, well, Tyrion finds her in Tywin's bed, and he promptly kills her. Now, Tumblr of Thrones is whining about this being symbolic, and because Shay was forced to testify against Tyrion, and then Tywin forced himself upon her, and all this happened against her will. Yeah, I don't think that was what happened. First of all, uh, there's a difference between the books and the show, where in the books, Shay, there's no reason for her to testify against him. In the show, he sends her away and calls her a whore. Although she is a whore, I mean. But he sends her away, which causes her to resent him. So, in the show, she has a better reason to do this towards him than she actually does, <laughs> than she does in the books. Because in the books, she just turns on him. For no reason whatsoever, she just goes against him. And you realize upon this point in the books that she's been playing him all along. She never had any feelings for him whatsoever. Now, somebody brought this up to Tumblr of Thrones, but he or she said like, Oh, it's not her fault, he had some weird romance idea in her set. She played into it. She lied to him. It's a fucking fly. She lied to him multiple times, said she loved him. But she didn't, she just wanted his money. She played him all along. Yes, he created an idea of romance in his head, but she played into it, so she's not it's not exactly innocent. And then she just absolutely turns on him. Now, Tumblr of Thrones is acting like all she did was just like leave him, like, oh, we need to break up. She didn't. She testified against him in a trial that would mean the end of his life if he was caught, gu caught guilty. And she lied in the trial. And... You're justifying that, because, oh well, she would have died too. No, she wouldn't. She was a chamber chambermaid, and she could have left the city. Now, some people, for example, Podrick left the city. Now, some people will say, well, he had Jamie's help. Yeah, it's true, in, this, in, this sh in the show he had Jamie's help. In the books, however, he doesn't. He escapes on his own. And no, Podrick is not considered a nobleman. He's a... what's it called? The... blah blah. Anyway, Knight Helper. So he doesn't really have that much power or influence, and neither does his family. She could have left the city, but she didn't. 
However, in the show, like I said, he goes on a ship, and then Cersei's men bring her back. And yeah, it's possible that she testified against him against her will. However, when she when Tyrion finds her in Tywin's bed, is she crying or acting like she doesn't like the situation she's in? No, she's moaning quietly and whispering my lion, thinking that it's Tywin. She looks to be pretty comfortable in her situation. So yeah, I don't think he forced himself upon her. Now some people's gonna say like, he could still force himself upon her, you don't know, blah 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 blah. It's a TV show, people. Get the fuck over it. Now, not liking a female character is not misogyny, so stop fucking saying that. Yes, it's true, I don't like a lot of female, some of the female characters in Game of Thrones. For example, Cersei, I don't like her either. I didn't like Sansa until now. I don't like... <clears throat> I don't like, didn't like Shay when she died. And then there's Cersei. I didn't fuck, sure as fuck don't like her, she's crazy. And Melisandre scares the living fuck out of me. Selyse, I think she's really weird. Does that mean I'm a sexist or a misogynist? No, because I can make an even longer list of male characters that I hate. For example, The Mountain, uh, Walder Frey, Roose Bolton, Ramsay Bolton. <clears throat> uh, I hated Theon, and now I just feel sad for him. But, I mean, there's a long list of male characters that I don't like. <clears throat> or how about, um... I can't remember what his name was. He was one of the night, one of the men of Night's Watch, who he's the guy who stabbed um, Wormont in the back. What a fucking asshole! I didn't like him either. I mean, there's there's a long list of fucking characters I don't like. Does that make me a sexist or no? If anything, I'm a misanthrope. I don't like people at all. <clears throat> well, let's look at the male character, the female characters that I actually do like. How about Arya? She's fucking awesome. How about Marjorie? She's fucking awesome. How about Egret? She was fucking awesome. Let's see, Brienne? She's fucking awesome. Daenerys? She's fucking awesome. There's tons of female characters I like, and there's some I don't like. Fucking deal with it. I don't dislike them because they're women. I dislike them because I don't like their fucking character. Get that through your thick fucking skull. Because at some point, you need to grow the fuck up and realize what actual sexism and misogyny means. It doesn't mean simply disliking a woman. No, it means disliking her on the fact that she is a woman. This is just like all the times I'll be called a racist just because I said something mean towards one immigrant. That doesn't mean I'm a racist. If I say, you're stupid because you're an immigrant, that would make me a racist. But if I just say, you're stupid, that doesn't make me a racist. And saying that I don't like a female character in Game of Thrones does not make me a sexist or a misogynist. I'm sick of pe I'm sick of hearing this all the fucking time. Maybe I should make another word abuse video. I haven't made one of those in a while. Let's see, I made hater and sellout. I should make like sexist and sexist, misogynist and racist in all in one video. That would be a good idea. Anyway, that was all I had to say. I've been screaming into camera for a while. So, I'm the Nerdy Guy. Look me up on nerd nerdyguyranting.tumblr.com. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to this video. And... Yeah. Bye.